Okay, so now it's recording. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of interacting with um, MSF Console, John the Ripper, and um, cracking passwords basically. So uh, the first thing you want to do um, is I went and made a folder on my desktop called Passwords. And inside the passwords here, I have like MD5 um, hashes of, uh, of the actual password. Um, so what you can do is you can type in John um, and let's just go with dash dash format equals raw md5 and then the path of where the password file is that I showed you and so it's password and let's just go with password text. And so what this is going to do is going to take John the Ripper and it's going to take that hash and it's going to tell me what the password is. So um, so it did crack it but as you can see here it doesn't actually tell me what the password is. So use the same syntax but this time you want to go dash dash show and then hit enter and as you can see it will actually now show you that the administrator and the MD5 hash is actually baseball. So if we look here, I did the password.txt, which is right there, and so this administrator, that hash right there, is actually converted into meaning baseball. Um, <clears throat> so you can do it for other ones. I have a couple other ones in there, so we'll just do that one. And if you show it, why didn't it actually show it? I have no idea. Well, let's just try a different one. And I don't know why, but it's not showing it. <clears throat> well, that's a fail. Anyway, so hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of uh, some of the syntax you can use for John the Ripper. Now, John the Ripper can be used for other other methods. So uh, this is kind of a review from one of my other um, from one of the other ones that I, I made, but. Uh, other videos but here's what we're going to do is we're going to first um, start the server I get a second get going okay now we're going to start the MSF console and so MSF console is the Metasploit uh, framework console um, so it's it's command line uh, Metasploit it's completely free this version that I'm using um, so I already have a server set up and going, um, and I won't be able to put in vulnerability or anything like that because I don't have the nmap in, but I know what vulnerabilities this one has, so I'm just going to type in the vulnerabilities and actually just get in and um, go from there. So this is kind of a review, but I'm going to attack this machine real quick. Oh, you know, I forgot to do reverse. Hopefully, this works because I did not do a reverse. Um, I, that's working so far. I did not do a reverse TCP connection, but apparently, it's working. So, anyway, so what you can do is, um, so I did their system info. So I'm already inside the machine. So system info is going to give me uh, some information. So what it's going to do is it's going to actually give me. Um, information like the net bios and the banners and stuff information uh, about the system there's other uh, commands you can run which I can show you here so like a, like I said there's some other things that you can do um, we'll just do a real easy one so help it kind of gives you an idea of what all you can do so if you type help it will start the webcams or it will stream the webcams or it will record the microphone um, you can enumerate the desktop, you can get the desktop, uh, you can start doing like a, a key logger, take screenshots. Um, there's all kinds of basically anything you can think of it will do. Um, so that's really kind of just an overview by just typing in help. But um, also if you look, if you have the uh, 
red team field manual. There are some commands too, like on page um, 56 is basically when it starts, I think. Um, yeah, about page 56 is where it starts to show some, some of the commands with the Metasploit. 58 is actually where uh, the Metaterpreter stuff is, which is once you're inside the system. Um, so you can type in PS, which is going to display all of the current um, services that are running. So it's like opening up the task manager and looking at it. It will show you what the, the parent ID is, um, who the user is, what path it's going from, the actual like exe file or the dynamic link library that's running it. Um, so there's that. You can also do, um, you can upload or download a file by saying like upload um, and then the file name and then whatever path you want to send it to. Oops, sorry. Whatever path you want to send it to. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But um, I'm not going to go too in depth uh, with that. I'm I'm going to show. Um, I should probably just make a, um, a video just on that. But mainly what I wanted to show you today is is cracking passwords. So let's say you get on a system and you know there's a lot of passwords hidden on there. So mainly what I wanted to show you is once you're into the system, if you just type in hash dump, um, it's going to dump all of the SAM files or passwords that are on there. Of, uh, of the system. So we have all these. So what you do then after you do a hash dump is you copy it and uh, you open up like a leaf pad um, and you just want to paste them into a leaf pad. All right, and then I like to save this as, uh, let's just name it hash dump and uh, hashes. I might get confused with the command, so I'm just going to type in hashes, um, and then you can just close it out once it's saved. So now what you can do is you can open up a new terminal, and um, you can use John the Ripper again. So John show and as you can see it basically, let me blow it up so it's a little bit easier to see, it basically took the admin account and apparently it didn't have a password, but there's a password right there. Bob, guest, hack, etc, etc. All these passwords are right there from it. So, um, now what we can do is, let's just exit completely out. We'll start a new session of MSF console. Now what we can do is we can use um, SMB attacks basically on the system um, and use that then to get into the actual uh, the actual system of uh, that we want to attack because um, now we have the passwords for a bunch of different uh, potential uh, accounts. I apologize, I had to I had to pause, but now we're back. Um, so I'm doing this at work, so uh, every once in a while you hear like students walking down the hallway, and I just don't want that to come up on the on the speak on the microphone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the exploit of um, through Windows of SMB, and we're going to use the psec exact. Um, so. Let's type in show options to see all the different options that are out there. So there's all kinds of different options on here uh, that you can use. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to first give it the R host. So let's set our R host, which is the same poor machine that I keep hitting. All right. And um, we also want to set a payload just to make sure that everything is working right. Um, so pet, set payload windows. Oh, for some reason it's always slow whenever I do this. Uh, meta interpreter. There we go. Uh, reverse TCP. And hit enter. And I set the set the L host. Let's double check. It should be 139 still, but who 
knows if it changed. It did not. Okay, good. Um, what else do we have to do? So, um, uh, let's set our, that's right, we have to set our SMB user, administrator, and then we also want to set our SMB pass to password. Okay, so let's show the options just to make sure everything's still the same. So we have the listening port set, password, the administrator, account, ports going through. So now we're all done, just type in exploit. And voila, we're into that same system again. Bingo. That's all there really was to it. So once we got the hashes, now let's say, okay, you're thinking to yourself, well, you just hacked into it earlier, and now you got into it again this way. Well, look at this way. You got into the other system, which is just a, a low level, your basic account, no admin privilege or anything like that. You dump some passwords, you end up finding an administrator password. Now you decide to go after a different device on that same network. But now you're gonna be able to get in as an admin. Um, so yeah, there's that's why it's a little bit helpful because now you can be an administrator compared to just a guest user. So um, I'm going to show you one more thing. So let's say um, <clears throat> we don't know the password at all. So we can start all that stuff all over again. We have our listening port set up. Um, let's say we don't know the password for the administrator. Okay, this is called passing the hash. So we want to set SMB pass to the hash. So you open up the hashes file. You look for administrator. Okay, so it starts right there is the hash. You want the whole salted hash. You don't want all those colons. Go ahead and copy it. And you want to paste that hash right in there as the password. All right, let's say John the Ripper was not able to crack that password we had, or that hash. We had no idea what it is. So this is called passing the hash. What you do is you actually put the hash in there, and you set it as that. So it's going to look funny now when you open it up. It's like, whoa, that's a really long password. But hey, there it is. And you actually type in exploit again. And voila. You're in again without even knowing the password other than the hash. So this is basically what I wanted to show you today. Um, I'll try to make some more videos. Um, I know I didn't do the SQL injections one yet, uh, which I will soon. And then I also would like to do uh, a Wi-Fi uh, error cracking video as well. So I hope this was helpful um, and help you guys do the labs or anything like that. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.